let's go. Lisa in jungle, we can get pretty damn annoying, honestly. If I W his Q, I should probably be able to kill him. And they have a LeBlanc, and if I time it correctly, you can just spell block her uh, Q, which pretty much negates all her damage, so it's going to be interesting. Nasus is definitely gonna get fucked by Trundle. That's gonna suck for him. Here's a little trick you can do. If you click like right on the edge of uh, of this red buff and then place your ward like right there, you'll, you'll actually put it on the other side. So, at least then does try to gank me or something. You can see it. I'll try to go, but they're playing pretty damn aggressive. Engage on that. What the hell? Oh, she's dead, though. I hope. It was pretty bad on my part not to spell shield that. That was pretty ballsy play by Leona, so that's good. I'm just gonna kill white and back. There's no really point to overstay. <coughs> Doesn't really benefit a lot from the Lizard Elder because you want to have CC immunity. And honestly, Trinity Force is all the damage you need. Plus, it gives them so much mobility and everything.
So I'm just gonna farm. There's really no point in ganking a Nasus lane. Unless, unless, unless he's 6 or something. Maybe at that point it's worth a gank, but... I'm just gonna ignore the lane for now. <coughs> LeBlanc's also super annoying to gank, so it's pretty much gonna be this bot lane. <coughs> that I'm gonna focus on. Well, honestly, maybe I should try ganking for them. Damn, this guy just got six. So this might be a bad idea. Okay, at least he ulted, so. Yeah, he's getting raped. Yeah, he's dead now. Yeah, this Lee Sin disconnected. See, he's only level 3. And I was suspecting that he disconnected. So that was good. I have no idea why the Trundle didn't just run away. Like, he would have lived 100%, but he decided to suicide. Now I have my ult, so that's good. Wizard sucks on every jungle except Kha'Zix and Hecarim. Um, I think Lizard Elder and Vi is really good, honestly. Just because of her E and then her Q. Like Anyone that has a lot of physical damage is good. So people like Evelyn, all those people, they're decent. Lizard Elder. I gave this guy blue because I don't really need it. I sustain so much from the jungle just because I, I'm just auto attacks. For the most part, Nocturne is just auto attacks, so he really doesn't need it. So I'm going to tell him to, uh, to let the bot lane push so I can gank for them. Oh shit. That's the real one, so I'm gonna kill this guy. Yep. Now, honestly, I should probably try to find this Lee Sin and just kill him. Because he's very far behind. He's like probably level 4 or 5. I'm already level 7. Yeah, so this guy's level 4. He really can't do much. If I had my ult, I could try to kill him, but I don't. This guy's tr start fighting him. Th this, uh, this trundle has no ult, so he's pretty much dead. Or not ult, flash, I mean. And I have a red buff too. So at this point, I'm just gonna farm up for a for a phage I'm back. This thresh man. It's probably I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Probably not. <coughs> but I can I can go and solo dragon. So I'm gonna start heading out to there. The Lee Sin can't really respond. So Lee Sin used to just farm, and he shouldn't be going damage. When you disconnect for like 5 minutes, you don't want to go damage, because you're just not going to be useful at all. If he was a tank, he can like live longer and maybe peel a little bit late game. But him going damage, he's not going to have any significance, for the most part. 
One problem with uh, Nocturne is that his ult has a very long cooldown. So generally the way you want to play him is you just farm until your ult's up. Because he's all about his ult, honestly. And it doesn't look like this is warded. This guy should... Yeah, it is warded. So, we're going to force a fight here. That was the worst thing they could have done. All three of them just suicided. For no reason. So we're gonna try to get mid. Ah, oh, we even got that guy. So sweet. Easily gonna take mid. Yeah, they, they should not have fought that. When you're behind in levels, you can't really outsmite anyone. So, not even sure what they were doing. His red should be up. Yep. The, w the way I knew that red was up. Oh shit, actually, Trundle's coming, I think. The way I knew red was up is because Ezra, uh, Lee Sin had a blue buff. So, he obviously went to blue buff, so red had to be up. This guy's dead. Oh, no, he's still dead. So I like to go tanky a little bit after getting some damage items. So I have a phage, it speeds me up, it gives me a decent amount of damage, and I have a red buff. So I don't really need to go full glass cannon. So me going like a giant's belt would just make me way more useful. And I have my ult, so I'm just going to ult bot. Try to make something happen. So highlight over your ult, see the range on it. I'm just gonna dive him. Ah, oh, that exhaust. So uh, I got it freaking exhausted. Couldn't DPS him down. Well, we still managed to clean up. Blue's up, so... I'm gonna... Maybe give it to this Kale. He's having some trouble. But hopefully he won't feed it away at least. Can't really go and fight Nocturne, I don't think. Or not Nocturne, Trundle. Because I think he can easily just turn on me. Okay, she flashed that. And this guy knows we're here. I made him at least waste an ult. Nah, no, that's bad. I'll die with that. So now I'm gonna start building damage. I'm very tanky. I have. Uh, uh, what's it called? Ancient Golem and Giant's Belt. So. That's fine. Gonna grab my red buff here. So like I said, this Lee Sin is going damage. He's just very useless to his team. I really can't do much at all. You got him. It's the real one. There you go. So after that, uh, throw a dragon because we both we got the dragon and we got a free triple kill. Like that just sets them so far behind. And plus, Lee Sin disconnected early, couldn't do any early pressure. This wasn't looking good for them. I have my ult again, so I can try 
diving someone. I'm, I'm gonna dive bot actually. I can easily clean up. I should start getting the tower. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I can probably just kill him without my help. Ah, oh, crap. Went all the way around. That Leona, though. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention. I was right here, and then I just... I was gonna walk all the way over here, so my range stopped. It's pretty damn sloppy. What do I think about Black Cleaver and Nocturne? I built it sometimes to burst their fed AD carry down if my AD carry sucks. Um, honestly, I think Black Cleaver kind of sucks because the reason what makes uh the reason why Black Cleaver is a really good item is because you have an AOE spell that will. Uh, hold on, okay, I reflashed. Is that you have an AOE spell that like. Like Pantheon's E or something, or like, what is this guy doing? Like either Pantheon's E or uh, or uh, MF is ult. Someone with a lot of AOE that will activate the Black Cleaver's passive. But Nocturne is pretty much all about auto attacks. So like you have to land four auto attacks for the Black Cleaver to be good. So I honestly think it's not that great. If I was gonna go like Brutalizer, I would probably build it into a. Uh, what's that item called? I forget the name. Yeah, the Ghost Blade. Like, that item is, uh, is honestly very, like. Very, very good. And a lot of people don't think it is. It improves your movement speed and attack speed. So, for someone like Nocturne, that's a perfect item. This thrush is gonna come for the scale. This nest just AFK farming. I'm just gonna try to kill this guy. That's a good alternative to Black Lever. Like I said, I think. Uh, oh, this guy's dead. I can't kill him now. JK I can. With Chaos help I can. Okay, he's gonna escape. My Ghost Blade is honestly really good I would say, but I w honestly I wouldn't even build it. The only time I would ever build another damaged item on Nocturne besides Trinity Force is like if my top lane is just like very squishy, like like Pantheon top lane maybe, maybe Wukong. Maybe like Lee Sin, top lane. So people that are very squishy, then I would consider building it. The Trinity Force is completely fine with Nocturne. You don't need any more damage than that. So I almost have my item. I'm going to tell him to fight this guy. So you can easily kill him. He's gonna flash over, probably. No, he's just gonna die. So now I can ult mid, get some kills here. Right, Kyo can just kill her. I'm just gonna ult her. There's no escaping. So that was really nice of me. I uh I W'd Lee Sin's kick, which saved my life pretty much. What's up, Actim? Long time no see. So I got my Trinity Force. Um I'm just gonna get ninja tavies. So I'm pretty much set. I'm super super fed. Once I get a red buff, I'll be even fetter. 
if that's a word. Then we can just easily clean people up. Ah, crap. It's my uh, little minion. Not what I meant to do, but oh well. So yeah. So uh, I said that Nocturne is like awful, like don't ever play him. So after this game, I'd say probably I'll take it back, but like he's decent. His sphere is not as good as he used to be though, that's for sure. And honestly, Riot, I hope they decide to change it. What Riot needs to do is like make fear like run towards you, not away from you. Because then that'll be perfect. That'll have like some like little funny, uh, fun like micro games where. Ah, this guy's too fast. <coughs> like if if Riot makes it so uh, you get ulted towards you. People can just like, as my uh, E is about to end, they'll like start facing towards me, and then just on, it's like it'll be more like more skill based on fear. <clears throat> if you just run ahead when when I actually fear you, it just, just stops a lot of counterplay. Sorry about that. I think Ryan changed fear to make it more realistic. Because if you're feared, I mean, talk about realistic, dude. This freaking. There's monsters. There's so much crap in this game. They changed fear so it wouldn't be a, like a random variable. Because before, fear, like, you don't even know, like,